doing a little flip through of my Winter Chibis book. I just released it and it's one of two of my winter books that I have released this year. All right, so let's get started. I'm really excited to show you guys. So this is the inside cover page and the About the Artist page. I always change the About the Artist page to go with the book. Um, just like a little something about the book right there. And I also try to incorporate some guy chibis in here. There's just a couple. Um, I wanted, I mean, they don't have to be guys. They're just short haired chibis. So whatever you want them to be. But started off with something really cute. And then we got little carolers. hot chocolate. I had a lot of fun doing this book. Um, I wanted to have a good variety of like winter images and Christmas themed images. Um, I didn't want it to be like all Christmas. Maybe like next year I'll do an all Christmas chibis. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so like the snowboarding or not snowboarding, skiing, um, just like winter activities too. So there's like a nice breakup especially if you end up wanting to color this book after um christmas like into january and february you can still have some winter images to color this is the cover image i lightly shaded this book um as well as tried to keep the line art on the thicker side just like the rest of my chibi books um, I am slowly trying to add a little more detail to my chibi books, um, you know, just to make them have a little bit more dimension to them, nothing too difficult. I just think they look a little bit better when they have some more detail, like, to their outfits, and that's, like, one of my favorite parts is designing their outfits. <laughs> so we got, like, a crazy Christmas sweater. I really like this one. I was thinking originally like the little drummer boy, um, but I think it turned out to look more like, um, you know, the Macy's Day Parade kind of vibe or just like a, a parade vibe, um, whatever you want, want it to be. And we got poinsettias. This one's super cute. I think a couple of people have already colored this one so far. Decorating the snowman. We got ice skating. Decorating the Christmas tree. I really wanted to make sure that there was like some things to color other than just like a chibi on the page. Um, I mean, some of them just have a chibi, but like other ones have like some other kind of elements of color. This one is one of my favorite ones. I totally really, I love shopping during the holidays. <laughs> Get all the good deals. This one's super cute. This one, um, she's like in a little deer onesie. I think I'm gonna continue doing that, like trying to do a onesie um, chibi in each of the chibi books that I end up doing. I'm gonna maybe try, I don't know. <laughs> Riding on a reindeer. This one is another one of my favorite ones. I love gingerbread houses. Um, I don't know why, I just do. I don't really make them, like I don't really decorate them, but I just like really appreciate all the colors and the fun little candies on them. So far this book is doing really well on Amazon. Um, you guys, I get a lot of good feedback on the chibi books, so. I will definitely keep making them for you guys. I really enjoy making them to begin with. It's really fun trying to figure out these little cute scenes. Little snow globe. An elf. The little present. So in both of my 
um, winter books, I did incorporate one page of Hanukkah in there. I just felt weird not incorporating Hanukkah. Um, so yeah, this is the one Hanukkah page I have for this book. And we got an Eskimo. Only because the uh, books are named winter um, and not Christmas specifically. Candy can. This reminded me of Candyland. I don't know if you guys played it, but I used to play it when I was a kid and there was always this like candy cane lane little area on the board. <laughs> so that's what reminded me of this. And a stocking. So there is a good amount of Christmas images in here, but I did try to have a variety. And then I totally relate to this one because I'm from Florida. So you have to have a beach Christmas image in there. There are 35 images total in this book. Actually, I'm sorry, there's 30 images total in this book. I did it a little bit shorter because it was more of like a holiday theme book um, instead of like a bigger generic um, theme. And especially because you guys are like really busy during the holidays, I didn't think everybody's gonna have time to color a full Christmas book. And then I ended on this page because um, I did it like specifically for New Year's. So um, she's like in her little hat and stuff. So this one is, in my mind, it's um, like for New Year's. <laughs> So always in the back of the book, I include a bonus page. Um, this bonus page is from my Mermaid Chibi's book. I haven't made a travel size version for this one yet. I'm waiting until next year. I think Mermaids is a little more summery. Um, so I think it just makes more sense to make a travel size version of it available in next year when it starts to warm up. Um, but the larger size or regular size um, is available right now. I really like how this book turned out. It's um, it's really cute, really pretty. So if you like this chibi book, you'll probably like <laughs> Mermaid Chibis. And um, talking about travel size, I do have um, a winter chibi available in the travel size. So you can see it's like just a bit smaller. Um, than the regular size books and it has all of the same exact images in it they're just a little bit smaller um i would say that it would save you on coloring materials um everything is pretty much still like a lot a big size like the colors so i don't think anything gets too small um to where you can't color it with markers everything is shaded um Literally exactly the same, just a little bit smaller of a book. Some people say it's good to like bring to work, um, put it in their purse. So definitely an option. So that one's out. I'm really excited. I'm probably going to be doing travel sizes for almost every book that I come out with, unless I feel like it would be too small to color, um, then I won't do it. But for most of my books, they'll be travel size versions. Okay, so I always incorporate this in the back of the book as well. Um, so we have the QR code where you can scan it and then you get all of my links. So all my social media links, all my shops. Um, you get to go to my Amazon author page where it has um, all my books that are available. Um, and then we always appreciate it if you leave an re Amazon review. Amazon reviews help boost our books and like allow them to show up um, a little bit sooner on the pages. So when you're searching, so definitely try to leave a review if you can. And then we have um, a couple places for you guys to post your colored pages. So we have this uh, main Facebook group page. I say we because I share it with this other illustrator um, named Joshua Dunbar. So our coloring book group is called Coloring Books by Alexander Francis and Joshua Dunbar. And we both um, post our updates of our books on that Facebook group, as well as um, showing like 
colored images we might color. Um, other people post their colored images on the page as well. It's just a, a really good group to um, see what everybody's up to and stay um, up to date on our coloring books. And then we have, um, I have an Instagram account and a TikTok account for coloring. So um, you can also tag me in your colored pages on Instagram and I try to add you in my Instagram stories. And then on TikTok, um, I mainly post just like videos of me coloring in my, in my own coloring books um, or any updates I have. And then of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and then um, I try to release a book every month. So um, this month was special. I ended up releasing two books because it is the holiday season and I wanna make sure you guys get a chance to get the books, um, the holiday books, uh, early. So I released in November um, Winter Mandalas and Winter Chibis at the same time. Um, but that's a rarity. Usually I just um, publish one book a month. Uh, next month in December, I'm going to try to post another book. Uh, but we'll see because, again, it's like a special month where you're really busy <laughs> with doing holiday stuff. Um, yeah, so... That's it for that page. And then I have the back of the book. I always include um, two colored images that I colored from in the book. Um, and then just like little descriptions. So there again, there's 30 images in this book and they're all lightly shaded. All right, that's it for Winter Chibis. Uh, let, me get, let me know what you guys think. And um, if you end up coloring, let me know if you like the travel size version or the regular size version. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have an awesome holiday season.